guys, what's up? I am back. Um, well, I've been in the basement for a couple of hours now. <laughs> I've been pouring like crazy um, because I am off to Florida next week. So I have been doing a bunch of videos so that I can stockpile them. And while I'm away, I still have videos to release um, for you guys to watch. So that way there's no two week hiatus. So I have been pretty busy. Um, this is my fourth um, pour for the night. And I think I'll stop at that because I'm running out of room um, on my drying racks and the floors and all that. And I'll do a bunch more. I think I'll do more tomorrow. So um, I just finished doing a big um, 20 by 20 inch um, Dutch pour and I used a bunch of blues and turquoise and if you saw the previous video, um, check it out. It turned out amazing and I couldn't be more excited. So I'm going to use the same colors because I love them so much. Um, and I had done, um, if you saw my triptych video, which I'll put a link up there for you. Um, I did a triptych and um, someone, a lovely um, viewer of mine, I'm sorry I can't remember the name of the person who suggested it, but someone said to me, would love to see a diptych or a triptych, but instead of doing it um, vertically, can you do it horizontally? So here I am, I'm going to do a Dutch pour diptych, um, but horizontally and see what happens. So I have here two MDF wood panels. They are six inches each by 20 inches. Um, I have taped the bottoms uh, with painter's tape. And then I did a coat of gesso for primer on the wood board. And I have already applied um, my white base just to save time. Um, in my white is just acrylic flow white and flow trawl. That is all. Um, so that's what's in here and I've pushed them back together. Um, so now the colors I'm using are Payne's Gray by Pebeo Studio Acrylics, Greenish Blue by Amsterdam, uh, Thalo Blue by Academy, Bright Aqua Green by Liquitex Basics, and an Iridescent Green Blue by Pebeo Studio Acrylics, and last but not least, for that beautiful touch at the end, we have Antique Copper by Folk Art. Bleh, 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 by what, Canela? <laughs> folk Art, there we go. Okay, so I've already torched my bubbles. And so let's get started. I'm gonna start with, I, I do, it doesn't really matter what I start with because they're all gonna mix up anyway. Um, but I'm, I'm looking at the floor down here. I'll show you later. Um, my big piece is just there drying and I am so thrilled with the outcome. All right, so this should be interesting. Mm, let's go this way. All right, there's my Payne's Gray. And let's add some, I swear this greenish blue by Amsterdam is I think my new favorite color. Uh, Thalo Blue by Academy. Now you're thinking, oh, that's a lot of dark blue, but trust me, once we get these greens in here, it's going to look pretty. All right. And the Iridescent is another one of my favorites. All right. And last time I used this awesome antique copper, but I didn't use enough and I kind of regretted that. So I don't want to overdo it, but I want to make sure I get my, my copper cells in there. All right. So there's that. There's my white. Got a blob of blue there and a little fluffer there. Okay, let's pour the white around. Oh 
that side. Now let's do, whoa, <laughs> too fast. Let's do this side, okay. Let's torch any air bubbles, because I can see a lot in here. There's so much paint in there, you can't even see the crack anymore. <laughs> All right, let's blow the white over. Perfect. So I'm going to do the same thing I did with my big 20 by 20. I'm going to start in the middle. I got paint boogers on my fingers. Don't want that to fall on my paint. I'm going to start in the middle and blow half one way, half the other way. Um, because if you blow from one end, I fear, I haven't done it, but I fear that if I start here, I'll blow all the paint over, over until I, I knock it all out and then there's nothing left. So let's start in the middle. Okay, so now let's blow a bit, or should I pull them apart? What should I do? I don't know. I've never done this before. Uh, let's let's pull them apart. Yeah, let's pull them apart. All right. Okay. That is cool. And all the paint is dripping off the edges there. That's nice. All right, let's blow. All right. I don't want to blow it over the edge. Wow, there's a lot of copper on this side. It looks like all the copper stayed on this side. Those are some cool cells, which I hope I don't lose. I hope they don't go away. I hope the paint just doesn't pull it off. All right, so let's blow this way. Now I think I'm gonna to have to come around to this side and carefully, without touching anything, Gotta be careful here. All right, I got paint on my elbow from down here, but that's okay. All right, I'm liking that. Let me go back to the other side. All right, that is super cool. Now, I'm, I wish there was a little more copper on this side, so I am going to attempt to add some and see what happens um, right about here. Uh, yeah, maybe not. I fix 
fixed it. Oh, actually, that looks pretty cool, actually, because I blew the blue. I blew the blue. D does that even make sense? <laughs> yes, it does. So I blew the blue over the copper, and now there's this little ring around it. So actually, that looks pretty good. Now, I'm afraid to do it. Uh, I'll try it here, but with less copper. Maybe a dab. And maybe a dab of white. Maybe that was my problem. A drop. Get in here. Oh, my hair. All right. I like that. I'm not going to add any more in there because I'm afraid I'm going to muck it up. So let's torch it. I like it. I like it a lot. I love it. I absolutely love it. I just, the only thing I wish is I wish there was a little more color in here, like over here. But I am so afraid to touch it that I, I see a lot of in here and maybe I should blow it a bit. Oh God, you guys are probably yelling at me not to do that. But let me just... Okay, I think that's better actually because it brought in that blue there. Ho, ho, ho! My necklace went in the white. <laughs> oh, I'm a mess. Hot mess, hot mess. Okay, okay, you guys are yelling, stop blowing. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay, but that actually helped. It really did. Okay, I'm done. And I love it. I really do love it. I love it a lot. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close up. This is so cool. Okay, all right. Use my, this hand. There we go. Let's start at the bottom and move our way across so what do you think guys let me know there's that lovely shadow let me know what you guys think in the comments let me try this way oh much better there we go so there's that copper i blew in there which has actually worked out pretty good and this side this is definitely my favorite side although they're both nice but i like this side better so there you have it, my diptych Dutch pour, um, done, uh, or <laughs> I had to think about that for a sec, horizontally. So guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And if you are new and watching this for the first time or watching my channel for the first time, please, um, please subscribe guys, I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you are notified every time I post a new video. And check out my social media links below and my Amazon shops for anyone. You know, a lot of people ask me, where do you get your torch? Where'd you get, you know, the spatula? You know, where do I buy my squeeze bottles? All that stuff, guys, is listed in my Amazon shops below. I have a U.S. shop and a Canadian shop, so, you know, wherever you're from, click on that link. And 
Uh, my PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate. I would really appreciate it. It helps me buy paint, supplies. That way I can do more of these videos. So thanks very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I always answer your questions, guys. And I'll show you what's drying. This is my 20 by 20 that I just did prior to this one. And I have my awesome picnic bug tent over it and it's keeping it clear from bugs so anyways thanks for watching guys i will be back again with a new video shortly take care bye